Hi there, welcome back, Adventures with Dr. Joe. I purchased a Dell Inspiron 3000, a 15 inch laptop. A, bit, a very basic uh, laptop just to primarily do email, go online, but I've been frustrated that it's become, it's just so slow. So I thought we could speed it up by adding some RAM. So we're gonna add an additional eight gigabytes of DDR4, 2400 Hertz, RAM, doubling the amount of RAM to this Dell 15 inch, Dell 3000, Inspiron 3000. Okay, the RAM in this Dell goes about here somewhere, but we don't have access to that panel until we remove some screws that are beneath this keyboard. So we need to take the keyboard out, take those screws out, then flip it back over. So the first thing I want to do is take out the battery. So we push this like this, the battery comes out, and then we shouldn't have any power. Now, flip it back over, we're gonna take the keyboard out. Now, the keyboard has a couple of little notches here where there are little tabs, and we can put a small screwdriver in here and then like a guitar pick to pop this open. And that's how the keyboard comes out. It has this nice ribbon wire that connects it to the motherboard. And the way we release that is lift up this little black bar like that, and then literally this ribbon comes off and then we can put the keyboard aside. Now here are some small screws in these little wells and we're gonna take all these out of there. I'll put them in a little dish over here for safekeeping. Okay. There's another one. Another one. Another one here. And there's usually another one here, but I don't see it. So typically five. One, two, three, four, five. So good, we'll close up the lid and flip it over. Now on the back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight large screws, and then there's a small screw in here that holds in the DVD filler. We don't have a DVD player in this one. This is an entry level Entry level one, but once we take that screw out, that can be removed. They usually have a little Loctite on them, so sometimes they can be a little tough to get going. The best way to get this apart is using the slot here where the DVD player, and, and just start by separating that. And we'll save all these screws. the screws all the way out yet. There it goes. You can take 
take some of these screws out like this. That little guy down there. So there are two screws here under the battery compartment that we should remove. And I think we can take the final, yeah, that's it. So here's the top. So we did need these two screws out as well as these eight. Okay, we've got the back off. Okay, we've removed the back. And this is the RAM. And this is the slot for the additional RAM. Only DDR4. So we've got our new RAM here. And it has two different lengths of bars. And you can see they correspond to this. And they need to, oh good, they need to fit in completely like that. And then they just click in. Now once we're at this point, we just have to reverse the process and put it all back together. So we'll start by and start closing everything back up. Snap together. We'll first put those little screws back under the battery compartment. There's one. Good. Now we'll put our big, our eight large screws back. Be sure we're snapped in place. These have threaded inserts that were th they were screwing into. They're they're very nice. They look like they could be brass. These are yeah, be sure everything's clicked in. One final screw. Okay. Flip it over, put these small screws back. Before we put the keyboard on, we'll put the that CD-ROM back, or the coupler for it, because it overlaps here, and we need to put that in last, and then put its little screw in there that holds it in place. There it is, nice and tight. Flip it back over. Keyboard. Again, these tabs go down, so we want to position this like this, and this needs to just fit really nicely in here. And you'll know it. You'll know it because it just it has a perfect fit. Can't for oh there it goes right there. 
So that's fitting. Put the put its lid back on it, and then put these tabs, all of them. Oop, that one's out. Got to get everyone in. There we go. And then literally pop the keyboard back in place. Put the battery back home. Fire it up. So I booted it up. And here's the message. Alert, the amount of system memory has changed. No question. Continue. And there it goes. All right. Well, that's how to increase the RAM in your Dell Inspiron 15 3000 series. And there she blows. Okie doke. So thank you for watching again Adventures with Dr. Joe. Please consider subscribing. If this was helpful, please do click like. It helps the channel a lot. Thanks for watching.